I did a recent video about what sport is best for weight loss, cycling or running? Cycling versus running for weight loss transformations. What's better at fat burning, cycling or running? And in my personal experience, the best sport for weight loss is cycling. Nothing comes close. But we had this, uh, a viewer say, Harley, sorry, I disagree. If I go out to exercise for 45 minutes, if I run for 45 minutes, I will burn two or three times greater the calories if I bike for 45 minutes. That is what it comes down to, which is the best use of my time. Running, no contest. That's, I mean, running is good if you're really fit. Like this viewer is obviously very fit. Because if you can burn three times the calories going for a run than you can for a bike ride, man, you must be fucking fit. Because I can't even do that. And I'm running, you know, sub 17 for 5,000 meters. And I'm running sub three hours for marathon. So that's, that. this person's obviously doing some, you know, real full on fitness. So if you're as fit as this person, then running is going to be better for calories. But, you know, this person is so fucking fit. Because if you can burn three times the calories going for a run than 45 minutes of bike riding, then you are, must be a fucking Olympic level runner. Easy as that. So 99.9% .9 of the time, cycling is going to be better than running for weight loss. Better than running and walking. Cycling is going to be the one. Because cycling is no impact unless you hit the tarmac. And cycling, you can keep going and going and going. So cycling is definitely the best for weight loss. So if you're as fit as this person, you won't have an excess weight issue. Because this person can run to work, they can run a marathon, they can run here, they can run there, they can probably bang out 200 k's a week and do it fast. So then they're not going to have a weight issue. But if you like 99.9% .9 of people out there who are in the weight loss world looking to lose weight, cycling is going to be the one for you because it's going to support your heavy weight, your lack of fitness, your lack of bone density, and it's going to help carry you along on your fitness journey. So cycling is for you. Running is for really fit people. If you're really fucking fit, running's for you. Until then, use cycling to build up your aerobic capacity, your aerobic base, and do a few little walks in that here and there. If you can, if you can't, that's fine. But if you can, get some walks in there. Maybe do some little shuffles. Or maybe if you're light enough, do some jogging just to build up your bone density over the years. But use cycling as that to carry you along on your weight loss journey, your fitness journey. Because cycling is just like incredible. But if you go out and try and run when you're overweight, you're gonna fucking stress fracture your legs, you're gonna fuck up, you're gonna break your metatarsals, you're gonna have knee recons, you're gonna fuck up your back. Don't run if you're heavy. If you're a heavy person, use the bike to get lighter and fitter and use the high carb, vegan, low fat lifestyle to get lighter as well. So follow those guidelines, you're gonna be in a winner. Cycling's number one for weight loss. Uh, but for fitness, if you only had one hour a day and you're already super fit, then yeah, running is going to give you a better, better workout. If you're already super fit, like this person or myself, but if you try and do running a lot when you're, not, when you're a newbie, you're going to fuck up. Even I can't run 45 minutes a day. That's too much for even me, 45 minutes a day. I can ride my bike though, but running, no way. So forget running until you're really lightweight and then start running. Until then, use the bike. Use the high carb, low fat lifestyle, the vegan lifestyle. So you're literally eating and commuting your way to health, fitness, weight loss, vibrancy. Easy.